All right. Well, I am going back to the homeland. I decided that what I would like to do today, since I didn't do it yesterday, I'm going to film a video about what it's like living in Pittsburgh, but I'm going to compare Pittsburgh to D.C. So I grew up my whole life in the D.C. suburbs, like right in between D.C. and Baltimore. That's where I always say I'm from. Um, and it is quite different from Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh is a smaller city, sort of. I guess technically it's a smaller city. Um, I feel like a lot of the time people who visit don't take into account the fact that downtown is not the only part of the city. Um, in fact, all of the little, like, neighborhoods are part of the city. So you've got downtown, which has absolutely nothing. Downtown is just offices. Um, you've got Lawrenceville, which is very cool. I highly recommend it. Um, you've got Southside, which is also cool. Shadyside and Squirrel Hill are both also cool. You've got Oakland, which is where a lot of the universities are. East Liberty, which is probably mine and AB's favorite place to go. We usually do our grocery shopping over there. I guess that's it for the boroughs that I can remember off the top of my head. Um, and then DC is quite different um, in that I kind of like to think of it as like a bullseye. So you've got DC and then you've got these outer cities that are a little bit smaller. So you've got like Potomac, Bethesda, um, Arlington. I'd put Arlington in there. Um, and then outside of that, you've got other cities like Rockville and Gaithersburg. And then outside of that, you've got, um, these suburbs that are, like, true suburbs that are still considered D.C. suburbs. Um, but they're just so close to these, like, other cities that are branching off out of D.C. And the idea of, like, what a traditional city is and, like, how it's supposed to be, like, gritty and, like have cool shops, like lots of mom and pop stuff. I really think that Pittsburgh really fits that bill a lot better than DC does. DC is a lot better than Pittsburgh in terms of quality of food. And I think that's because DC is a much more multicultural area. Um, DC has a lot better food than Pittsburgh does. There's no Italian. I can't find a single Italian restaurant in Pittsburgh and it's weird. There's a lot less chain stores, but the food's a lot less good. Um, the pizza's okay. A lot of the pizza in Oakland, I think, is pretty good. But, like, the food where I live, even just in my hometown, which is one of the suburbs, is so good. It is delicious. Um, Amy and I are going home, and we are going to get Tex-Mex because it is so freaking delicious in the D.C. area. Because... There's more than just white people there. Um, also, the Thai food in Pittsburgh's just as good as it is in D.C. There's better pizza places in the D.C. area. Um, and even in just D.C. has some great pizza places. And I try to, like, explain to people that I don't think that the food here is good, but they have no frame of reference. The only other person other than Amy who, like, gets what I'm talking about is my friend Alexa, who graduated last semester and now move back to Arlington. So, I also think that the DC area is a lot more accessible from the suburbs than Pittsburgh is. I think it has better public transportation because it actually has a metro system. Um, Pittsburgh has one. They have the T, but it sucks. It goes to like a distance of like maybe two blocks away. It's really terrible. Um, it's free, but it's bad. Um, whereas, like, the DC Metro is huge. It is massive. Um, Amy lives, like, an hour and a half away from the suburb that I live in, and we are essentially equidistant to DC. Um, and to me, where I live is, like, pretty close to DC, um... I think it's a little bit shorter if I was just going to drive in. Um, but we both have metro stops that go to us, 
And then there's now also the Silver Line, I think, was built recently, or maybe it's still being built, that goes into Virginia now, finally. It goes right to Tyson's, which is great. I love Tyson's Corner. Um, but, like, it's actually usable. It's kind of expensive, but, like, at least it works. Um, the Pittsburgh bus system would suck if I wasn't a Pitt student. Like, $2.50 to ride the bus every day? Like, that is just so much money. Also, Harris Teeters? Basically, the greatest grocery store on earth, other than Roots, which is like a local chain of, um, Whole Foods, but I think it's a little bit better. Harris Teeters, great, but because I'm not in the South anymore, we don't have Harris Teeter, and I'm bitter all the time because Giant Eagle sucks. It is, like, just so average. It's so average. And then everyone who, like, lives in Pittsburgh because they're blue-collar, not to say anything about blue-collar people, but they're always saying that, oh, Giant Eagle is so expensive. Like, no, it's not. It is average grocery store price. Just because you're not buying bagged fruit that costs you two cents because it's going to rot in a day doesn't mean it's bad or expensive. Um, Whole Foods is ridiculously expensive, but I still go there for my fruit because I'm bougie. Safeway is pretty good. Shoppers is pretty good. We don't have that in Pittsburgh. We just have Giant Eagle, which is okay. We have Aldi, which is terrible. I would never spend my money on groceries at Aldi because I'm gonna say it, I respect myself, okay? And I'm sure if you are watching this and you shop at Aldi, you're gonna be mad at me, but it's just where I come from. I don't buy bagged fruit and I never will and I just don't trust their food. It's weird. It's a weird grocery store and they never have variety literally ever and like I'm picky and I like having choice in what I'm buying um and if you shop the deals like use coupons and stuff Giant Eagle is normal if not cheap I care a lot about food I don't know where this passion came from but I started getting really angry about food pretty recently and even though I said that the transportation in Pittsburgh isn't that great it is nice how compact the city is. Um, it's kind of nice that it's not as spread out as the DC area. It feels manageable, especially like for a student my age. I think it's, it makes sense, you know, how it is. Yeah. Also, I think the architecture is better in Pittsburgh. I think it is visually stunning almost everywhere throughout the city, whereas DC, I feel, is so boring and ugly. There's not really anything else to talk about other than, like, weather, um, that I can really think of right now, but, um, the weather here sucks. The weather here sucks all the time. It hasn't snowed all this winter. It snowed, like, a little bit last winter. Um, people this winter have been saying, oh, it snowed so much last year, like, no, like, it really didn't, and I expected it to snow so much more all last year when it was my first winter here, um, and it snowed less than it had in Maryland. I think the winter here is a little bit less dry than in D.C., um, and it is so unbelievably windy. I hate it so much. I never want to go outside because the moment I go outside, my hair gets whipped all around and it gets screwed up. And I hate it. I hate it so much. And then the summer times are the same, which is weird because the other times of the year are different. Maryland is a wet spring. Pittsburgh is this like really pleasant spring. You just want to be outside all of the time. It is so comfortable. It is so nice. Everyone is in this like great mood all the time, probably because it's cloudy all winter, but it's like a great time to be around. Um, and then in the summertime, it is so humid. It is so humid. I step outside, my hair is frizzed out to here. It is, 
I can't step outside with feeling like I need to peel off my skin because I can't breathe. And it's the same way in DC. The weather sucks in the summer. It is built on a swamp. It is nasty. It is sticky and humid all the time. I need to find a place where the summer is decent. Fall and winter weather is better in DC and spring is better in Pittsburgh but everything else is basically the same. That's all the comparisons I can really think of right now for DC and Pittsburgh. Um, those are the two places that I've lived for more than like three days so the only two places I can really <laughs> compare kind of accurately. Um, but uh, I thought this would be interesting um, and uh, hopefully videos continue to be posted while I am home. I don't know how busy I will be or how motivated. Obviously the goal is a video every single day for all 28 days of February, um, but just a reminder that that was a goal and not a law. So. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it was much more lighthearted than some of the other videos that have been going out recently. Um, and I will see you hopefully tomorrow.